Today, we're diving into the realm of the 12 most impressive and powerful machines you need to see to believe. From towering construction marvels to cutting-edge technological wonders, these machines push the boundaries of what's possible and redefine the meaning of power. So sit back, buckle up, and join us on this journey as we showcase the 12 most impressive and powerful machines you need to see. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to stay updated with our latest videos. Let's dive in. Number 12. Bushrake TRKT 1688 by Erdvark This heavy-duty, dual-purpose Erdvark bushrake can rake grass, boulders, uprooted trees, and vegetation one to two weeks after blade plowing. The bushrake is excellent for raking soil into windrows for chipping or burning. Built tough for the harsh circumstances of Africa, the stick rake is another name for this tool. With heavy-duty rear bearings and a unique seal configuration, you can rest assured that your wheels and pin rake wheels will remain free from dirt and dust even during normal operating conditions. Did you know that field lubrication may not be necessary after all? Erdvark bearing units are meticulously sealed and lubricated at the factory. The Erdvark bushrake has a unique feature that allows you to adjust its raking breadth while it's in use. It's a game-changer for anyone who needs to clear a variety of brush and debris in different areas. The bushrake is a versatile tool that can handle both rocks and forest debris with ease. It boasts a remarkable steering system that allows it to deftly navigate around trees and other obstacles, making it an incredibly agile and versatile tool for any job. If you're looking for the ultimate tool to rake up after using a straight blade cutter, bush eater, or blade plow, look no further than the Erdvark bushrake. It's the perfect solution for getting your land looking neat and tidy in no time. The Erdvark bushrake comes with a special feature called tire fill, designed to prevent flat tires and ensure that the rake operates smoothly. Number 11. Scania Axle Autonomous Truck The Scania Axle is a fully autonomous concept truck without a cab. Another major advancement in the field of large self-driving vehicles is being made by a group of Scania professionals from several industries who work together to produce a prototype truck that is constructed around the company's modular architecture, even without the cab. Businesses are rethinking mobility as a result of the rise of self-driving cars, with many aiming to increase sustainability and streamline operations. Mines and abandoned construction sites provide a high degree of control, which is ideal for self-driving pilots. These places offer the ideal environment for testing these cutting-edge technologies. We are getting closer to a time when autonomous vehicles will be the standard in intelligent transportation networks thanks to the Scania Axle Concept Truck. For autonomous vehicles, software plays a more important role than hardware in many aspects. Scania Axle is controlled and monitored by an intelligent control environment. For example, in Mines, a logistic system that instructs the truck on how to operate makes it easier for autonomous operations. Number 10. Giant Marble Saw A chainsaw is a compact portable saw powered by batteries, electricity, or fuel. For cutting tasks like cutting down trees and gathering firewood, it employs a set of teeth fastened to a chain that travels along a guide bar. There are several uses for this multi-purpose instrument. To help put out wildfires, it is also useful for trimming, bucking, and cutting fire breaks. Chainsaws have been modified into specialty tools for use in chainsaw art and mills. These unusual chainsaws are ideal for these particular tasks because of their carefully designed bar and chain combinations. Specialized chainsaws are used to cut through concrete during building projects. It's a fascinating process that requires precision and skill. In Finland, people occasionally use chainsaws for winter swimming and ice sculpting. These are only a few of the unusual tasks that this useful tool can be used for. The Fontini Group is known as a top company in the field of stone mining chainsaw machines because it's always looking for new ways to improve and use the latest technology. Their years of research and development have put them in a leading position with a focus on improving current technologies and coming up with new ones that are very valuable. Number 9. The Largest Gas Platform The Technic Samsung Consortium constructed the LNG platform exclusively for a collaboration involving Royal Dutch Shell, Kogas, and Impex. It was introduced in December 2013 and is owned by Shell PLC. The hull is 488 meters long and 74 meters wide, and it is made of more than 260,000 tons of steel. At full load, the ship weighs around 600,000 tons, more than five times that of an aircraft carrier of the Nimitz class. The largest platform capable of liquefying natural gas while floating on water is this one. Moreover, it's the biggest offshore plant ever constructed. 
analysts calculated the vessel's cost in 2013 to be between $10.8 and $12.6 billion U.S. According to Shell's 2014 assessment, the project might cost up to $3.5 million for each million tons of output capacity. Due to competitive constraints brought on by an increase in the long-term production capacities of North American gas fields as a result of hydraulic fracturing technology and growing Russian export capabilities, the partnership's actual profitability may be lower than what was estimated in 2011. Although Shell has never acknowledged the precise price, the WA Today News website stated in 2021 that it was thought the ship had cost at least $17.5 billion. These machines are so interesting, and there's no doubt you are impressed by this one, so drop a like and subscribe to our channel. Number 8. Roxgon Refinator H4 The RGH H4, also known as the Refinator, is the most distinctive deep ripper and rock crusher in the world, now transformed into a hydraulic time machine. This new type can drill deeply through challenging rocky soil, extremely hard pans, and stump-filled paddocks. The introduction of Roxgon's Refinator Rock Crusher in 2015 was a game-changer for farmers in Western Australia who were struggling with soil covered in rocks. They eagerly welcomed this innovative solution to their problem and quickly put it to use on their farms. This impressive machine didn't just make waves, it made history. It took home not one but two prestigious awards, the Best Australian Made Machine Award at the York Peninsula Field Days and the New Release Award at the Nude Gate Machinery Field Days. It's safe to say that this machine is a true champion in its field. The Refinator is a remarkable piece of machinery that can be towed behind a vehicle equipped with a powerful grate. It can grip rocky terrain and shred it into smaller, more manageable chunks. Once the Refinator has done its job, a roller comes in to crush the debris into fine pieces. The Refinator moves through rough terrain and crushes any obstacles in its way, leaving behind small rocks about the size of a clenched fist. After countless trips, even the biggest rocks you'll come across are no larger than a clenched fist. Over 130 units have already been sold across the nation. The Refinator has proven to be a big success with Western Australian growers, enhancing soil quality and capacity throughout the state. The Refinator's high-quality construction at Cuts Engineering in Mangamup, Western Australia's southwest, has contributed significantly to its success. Number 7. Hydraulic Forestry Much like in the agriculture sector, heavy hydraulic equipment has been utilized in the forestry sector to help with large-scale harvesting and land clearance. This was done to make sure that the requirements for efficiency and production were met. Selecting the right machine is essential to guarantee that this process is completed as precisely as possible and achieves the desired results. For the operation to be done correctly, this company uses strong hydraulic wood processing machinery. With everything from mulchers to F-bunchers and load recorders to skitters, they have all the heavy machinery needed to handle any work. Explore the world of gear that fits into this category. Logging equipment operations involve periods of hardship as well as ongoing wear and tear. Hydraulic systems must therefore be outfitted with the appropriate parts. Rayco has built an impressive reputation among original equipment manufacturers and distributors throughout the course of its history for providing high-quality products that meet a wide range of application needs. Raicho offers state-of-the-art heavy-duty forestry machinery solutions that perform in the most demanding conditions. Maximize the potential of your forestry hydraulic equipment by pairing it with a row slider hose, spiral guard hose protection, and an inline swivel, giving you an experience of unparalleled efficiency and performance like never before. Number 6. Tunnel Boring Machine The Washington State Department of Transportation specifically designed the Bertha Tunnel Boring Machine for the Alaskan Way Viaduct Replacement Tunnel Project in Seattle, Washington, in the United States. The machine was designed by Hitachi Zosin Sakai Works in Osaka, Japan, and assembled in Seattle in June 2013. The tunnel borer began work on July 30, 2013, and completion was scheduled for December 2015. Due to an unforeseen obstruction, work was stopped on December 6, 2013, around 330 meters into the 2,830-meter path. Back in 2002, a steel pipe used to test groundwater in the Alaskan Way Viaduct area was believed to have been the victim of multiple blade strikes, resulting in significant damage. After more investigation, it was found that the primary bearing seal system had failed due to corrosion, which ultimately caused the bearing to overheat while it was in use. The machine's powerful cutter head received extensive maintenance over a two-year period. In order to maintain it in excellent condition, 
It was removed and partially replaced in 2015 when a sinkhole appeared near the project site and a moored barge in Elliott Bay damaged nearby piers. Early in January 2016, Bertha stopped digging tunnels. Tunnel boring had been started by Bertha on December 22nd. On January 14, 2016, after the sinkhole event, Governor Jay Inslee halted all tunnel construction, citing concerns for public safety. On February 23rd, digging started again but was stopped for maintenance and inspections. It fully resumed on April 29th. Bertha's drilling of the tunnel came to an end on April 4th, 2017, when its cooter heat broke through into an already broken down vault at the tunnel's north portal in South Lake Union. Number 5. Bracky P12, a planter. For warm, dry areas, the Bracky P12A is a good planter. For plantation forestry, it makes sense. The Bracky P12A can handle scarification and planting in its entirety, or merely planting. Integrated fertilization and irrigation systems are available as optional extras for the Bracky P12A. The Bracky P12A creates a planting bed at the bottom of a hole. Granular fertilizer is released concurrently through two separate pipes if it is equipped with fertilization. A specially designed foot creates the hole, and the seedling is placed in the bottom of the hole. When planting takes place, irrigation can be accomplished by applying water gel or by spraying water around the seedling. The dirt needs to be loosened to make a decent planting bed with the aid of a scarifier, such as a ripper. This can be done beforehand. However, the Bracky P12A can also be outfitted with a subsoiler to prepare the ground before planting at each location. Number 4. Scarifier Disc Trencher Our strongest disc trencher, the Bracket T26B, can handle even the most difficult slash and stone-covered terrain. Regardless of the environment, the T26B is coupled to a large machine. The T26B scarification method maximizes the chances of seed and plant survival and growth. The Bracket T26B's design allows it to cautiously traverse rough terrain. The device's hydraulics allow the disc to rotate along its vertical axis in the case of an overload and permit sideways arm motions. The load-sensing hydraulics are connected to the base machine. The control system communicates via a CAN bus and a PLC platform. The usability of the control panel is superb. The sensors on the disc trencher send data to the control system, including the location of the arms, the angle of the disc, and the base machine speed. By choosing from eight programmable operating programs, the control system in the cab can open up a world of possibilities with a few clicks on the controls. You can quickly retrieve data from the scarifier and adjust system parameters with the display. The control system keeps track of various metrics, such as the scarified area, distance covered by each individual and the team as a whole, and the number of hours dedicated to the task. Number 3. Tyson Crane The name of the strongest crane in the world, Tyson, has a safe working load of 20,000 metric tons. The Tyson was designed by Daly & Horui Heavy Industry and built for the installation of large modules in semi-submersible and FP COP projects. It is located at the Yantai Raffles Shipyard in Yantai, Shandong Province, China. With a combined weight of 20,330 metric tons, 17,100 tons, and 14,000 tons, the crane is host to the three largest lifts ever. You will require almost 50,000 meters or slightly more than 31 meters of wire to operate Tyson. You can raise it to a maximum height of 80 meters by doing this. Tyson was designed to mount extremely large integrated modules above a ship's hull. Up to 20,000 tons may be weighted by these modules. Traditionally, installation, hookup, and commissioning have been allowed to be completed on offshore vessels with restricted access and reduced efficiency. Examples of such vessels are drilling semi-submersibles and FPSOs. Tyson makes it possible to build the lower and top portion of the vessel simultaneously, which shortens the overall project timetable, increases manpower by up to 2 million man-hours, and raises safety and quality standards. Number 2. Komatsu D575A Super Dozer With 1,150 horsepower, the Komatsu D575A tractor crawler is available in two distinct bulldozer configurations, whether the Super Dozer or the Super Ripper. With each pass, both models can move 69 cubed meters of material with the basic blade. The D575A 3 Super Dozer can move 96 square meters of material in a single pass if an optional blade is employed. The D575A3, or single shank ripper, can delve up to 2.06 meters. The bulldozers in the D575A series, which are commonly referred to as the largest production bulldozers in the world, were produced at the Komatsu Limited Company in Osaka, Japan. 
The D575A was mostly used by surface mine operators in the United States and Japan, while it was also occasionally used in quarries and large construction projects. The D555A, a prototype 750 kW bulldozer from Komatsu, was initially showcased to the public in 1981 at the Kexo Machinery Show in Houston, Texas. Development was halted throughout the majority of the 1980s as a result of the economic climate of the period. The D575A, the successor of the D555A prototype, underwent more than 1,000 hours of field testing by the Cooney Brothers Coal Company in Pennsylvania in 1989. It's also possible that prototype machines were tested at the Harrison Coal and Reclamation Park. In 1991, full production commenced. Number 1. Crawler Transporter NASA moved spacecraft from the Vehicle Assembly Building to Launch Complex 39 using two tracked trucks known as Crawler Transporters. The Missile Crawler Transport Facilities was the prior name for these vehicles. They were originally used to transport the Saturn IB and Saturn V rockets during the Apollo Skylab and Apollo Soyuz programs. They were utilized to transport space shuttles between 1981 and 2011. Crawler transporters are used to move the NASA mobile launcher platforms. Following each launch, these crawlers return to the launch pad to move the platform back to the VAB. The two crawler transporters were designed and constructed by the Marion Power Shovel Company at a cost of $14 million each utilizing parts manufactured and designed by Rockwell International. The XGC-88000 crawler crane, which was produced in 2013, surpassed the crawler transporter, which was intended to be the world's largest self-powered land vehicle. Some equipment, notably bucket wheel excavators like Bagger 288 and Big Muskie, power shovels like Captain Dragline, and excavators like Big Muskie are powered by external sources even though they are significantly bigger.